All right. We are not going to be ID tracking bears in Belmont. We are going to be hunting whitetail and or blacktail deer at Chele Lake. Or Lake Chele. What the hell is it called? Chele Lake. Okay. So. Not now, Hope. At night. May I add. Okay. And I want it to be a blacktail, but I'm not going to be picky because I need to harvest a male blacktail deer. Uh with a quick kill score of 50 or higher. So that being said, I have on me now, I have some higher penetration rounds, so I got a better chance of getting to the heart at a farther distance. I also got, you know, basic scope, deer bleak call, which has been working pretty good. I didn't know I had the scent eliminator. That's good to know. Binoculars, I got a, a tent, so I can, I can wait for specific night times out there myself, which is good. Oh, time to go. Oh, I'm tired. What time is it? 4 p.m.? Yeah. I work night shift. Don't blame me. Alright. I will see you guys over there. Actually, you know what? Let's buy, uh, or buy. Let's, let's grab an RV. RV. ATV. Words are hard. I like you. Request. Hey, there we go. Now we're traveling in style. How's that flag doing? Still looking a little goofy. Interesting. The wind is going that direction, but my scent is going this direction. Well, that was quick. I like it when hunting just kind of works, you know? Both a quick hunt and a quick kill. And a male. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the penetrative power I want to see. I got him right through his... Right through his bone, right through his lung, right through his heart. Nice. Where do I, <clears throat> where do I see the, quick, kill. 
Hmm. That's awesome. True vision. Should you not be here right now? Mission log. I guess missions don't overlap. I'm glad I successfully hunted Lake Chile. Ow, my knee. Now what? At least 82 yards away? Fuck, Doc. I need three different bears. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can, I can, I can do any one of these. Tails are hopes, bread, and butter. If you ever want hunting tips on him, he's your man. He's been with the Black Tails for a while now. If they're on the move, it's not only a problem for Hope, it might mean worrying changes for other parts of the reserve. Well, look at that. Let's see if there are any additional signs of the black bears to support Hope's theory. Um, what about that one? Guess that settles it. No wonder the Black Tail's on the run. Gotta give Hope some credit, his suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. Hey there, I think it's time I told you about Jonathan Trampfine. He heard of your dealings with Black Bears in Belmont, so he wanted to know if you might help him out as well. Trampfine loves Black Bears. He's been living out here on the reserve for 
many years, getting as close as he can to the bears and documenting them. A little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Last couple of days, he's been trying to get a picture of a group of black bears that just arrived this season. He's had no luck, though. He wondered if you would take a swing at it. He'd pay you, so it might be worth your trouble. Cool. Finally, a mission that doesn't involve just shooting things. Despite the fact that I love shooting things. And, well, if you want to think about it, I am shooting a photograph, so... I have one purpose. I don't even know where to begin with Jonathan. He probably feels like he's becoming one with nature out here. And I can understand that, of course. But he's walking a fine line. And I worry one day he might find himself on the wrong side. You mean like that one photographer and or documenter who was just like, oh, I'm going to be friends with bears, and then like the day before he was supposed to leave, him and his wife and or girlfriend got mauled by a bear and was murdered. Which is really sad, in all honesty, because... <sighs> You've probably come people. across a coyote by now. Yeah. We have a sizable population in the reserve, but the wildlife varmint control are constantly trying to keep it in check. Fiona Voiles is their operator in the area. She's your go-to when it comes to the coyotes in this region. They could use some help with the population control, and there's good money in it, too. She wanted me to let you know that Chila Pass has seen an increase in coyote sightings lately, and that they're offering a reward to anyone harvesting coyotes. I think you'll need a coyote collar for this one. All right, I got uh, two things done. Actually, two and a half things done because one of two harvested male black-tailed deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 50 or higher. So, it has been a productive day. What are you? White-tailed deer, made a call. Oh yeah, getting horny, getting it on. Getting antlery, all right. So I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, this is exciting. I, uh, you know what? Let's 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 level up my skills. Perks actually. Come on, come on, perkage up. Um, I wanna say what is this? Hold breath, decrease heart rate penalty from exhaling, which reduces the cooldown until you breathe and you health again. Decrease the wobble when aim in aim mode using any weapon. Each level increases the effect. Da, 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 da. Or do I want to... I think I'm going to hold off for now in case one of them requires me to use like a bow or something. What, what, what does this do? Increase the time an arrow can be drawn in aim mode before fatigue sets in. Alright. What about you? Shotgun. Decrease edge blur when using shotguns with iron, red dye, and holographic sights. Each level unlocked increases the effect. And handguns. Unlocks the ability to reload weapons while running. I hope I won't need that, but you never know. What are they going to have me hunt? Because these perks are getting me kind of nervous. Increase ready speed after firing for all weapons. All weapons? I'll just do this one now. What is this? Let's just read them. Zeroing. Unlocks the ability to switch between different zero distances in addition to the default medium range zero. That supports it. Oh, okay. So I guess, um... There is drop and wind and all that other fun stuff that uh, involves ballistics. But thank you for joining me on this hunt. This has been a fun one, relatively quick, I'd say, as far as uh, you know, this game goes, as, as we've seen with our past adventures hunting the fun black-tailed deer. Uh, thank you, Jen. Like, comment, click, subscribe, if you would. That would be a big help. How does it help? I don't know. We, uh... <laughs> uh 
I haven't gotten that many subscribers yet. But that isn't to say that I don't appreciate all, I think at this time, 11 of you. So, I will see you guys later. And look forward to more videos coming out. See ya.